And there is no easy way to explain this story. Douglas County Sheriff's Office says 39-year-old Christy Benavides and her 10-year-old daughter Emma were found dead inside their home early yesterday. And the Douglas County coroner says Emma died of multiple gunshot wounds. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live in Highlands Ranch tonight. And Mark, the school has grief counselors to help students cope, but parents are also likely going to get some questions at home. Yeah, they certainly will. And once students leave Northridge Elementary School here where Emma attended, that grief and some of those questions will follow them home. Now, the school has urged in a letter parents to talk to their kids at home in a way that best fits their family, although it has a lot of parents asking how do they best do that and how do they do that in a constructive way. We want to show you inside a call center today. It's a help call center for crisis uh, situations. We went on a tour there today. Counselors are there 24 hours a day to answer calls from several crisis hotlines throughout the state. Counselors tell us that when the community goes through a tragedy like what happened yesterday in Highlands Ranch, they get a bunch of additional calls from parents asking for guidance, helping their child cope and communicate through the loss of a friend and a classmate. If their child is hearing about it at school and they're not sure what it means, kind of how to provide psychoeducation to parents around what's appropriate to share with their child around the trauma that's been discussed. Counselors also urge parents to pay a little bit extra attention to how your child's acting at home, whether it's diet, sleep patterns. If there's changes to any of those, it may not signal trouble, but just that they're coping with things. If that persists, though, they say you should seek some professional help. We'll have much more and more tips for parents coming up tonight at 6. We're live in Highlands Ranch. Mark Boyle, Denver 7.